The Arturian Group Message, January 13, 2017 Greetings dear friends. Once again we come in love to commune with you, aware of all you are facing in these rapidly changing times. Many of you are in the process of integrating higher dimensional energies, which can leave you feeling depleted and confused, as physical and emotional issues connected with the clearing process rise to the surface. Everyone is feeling the effects of the new and higher frequencies of light flowing to Earth at this time. Even those with no interest in such things cannot avoid its effects. These dear ones who do not understand the spiritual nature of what is taking place at this time, interpret their experiences according to their belief system, usually believing that they have a physical, emotional, or mental problem. We wish to speak of how your attained state of consciousness affects others. Love in its purest form is a high vibrational energy of pure light which when aligned with, can lift another to the level of the one holding this resonance, one who recognizes the divine nature of everything. The resonance of a consciousness filled with unconditional love is felt physically, emotionally, mentally, and spiritually, by all coming in contact with it, making many into light workers without their even realizing it. Many yet remain unaware of who and what they really are, or that the energy they radiate affects those around them as well as adding to the universal energy of the planet as a whole. This is why it is important to be aware of your thoughts and beliefs, or of thinking that your thoughts are hurting no one if you don't say them out loud. This is not to say that the serious spiritual seeker can never have a negative thought, for that would be impossible. Uninvited thoughts that find their way into your head are impersonal. Those that align with your personal interests or concerns easily find their way into your thinking because energy always seeks to align with like energy. A thought could represent the energy of some worry or fear you still carry either consciously or from a past lifetime. Thoughts that pop into your head are impersonal until you claim them as yours. This is why there is no reason to believe you are a spiritual failure if some negative or even violent thought comes floating into your mind when you least expect it. The clearing process often brings outgrown beliefs and thoughts to the surface. No need to react with shock or resistance, simply acknowledge them for what they are, giving them no power, and moving on. Thoughts have only the reality and power they are given. The human mind can only draw on what is already a part of consensus consciousness, that which is already known. New ideas, inventions, art, science, technology, and deep spiritual insights etc. must bubble up from deeper levels of creativity within where they are then brought into manifestation by the receiver and become part of consensus consciousness and available to all. This is how evolution takes place, and how your every insight is adding to the resonance of an ascending world consciousness. You carry your state of consciousness wherever you go, because consciousness is what you are. Your resonance can lift and open another who is receptive to it without your awareness or can cause someone to dislike you. Because energy seeks to align with like energy, oneness, it is important to keep yourself in compassion and not sympathy, when helping those who may be drawn to your energy, seeking help. When a person enters into sympathy, they align with the energy of the one seeking help, and often find themselves feeling drained. Compassion on the other hand, is an awareness of the other's difficulty and the offering of guidance, but done without entering into and aligning with lower resonating energy. This is a particularly important point for all those who work as counselors, therapists, etc., who often find themselves depleted and depressed after working with certain people. You must learn to keep your own energy field filled with light, clearing your workspace between clients if you do this professionally, and always remembering the divine nature of everyone you come in contact with. It is very easy in these times to align with thoughts of fear and negativity. The outer scene across the globe is causing many to embrace fear as they interpret what they see according to third dimensional beliefs. The human mind can only draw upon what is already in consensus consciousness, that which is already known, and thus it is easy to draw to yourself ideas about possible disastrous situations when you eliminate fear. When you accept fear thoughts, making them yours, you assign them a life they really don't have in and of themselves. Do not go into resistance or rebuke yourself when fear happens, but simply and lovingly shift your energy, 
saying to yourself something like, Oh, I recognize you and I am no longer buying into this. Use your own words, words that will serve to shift your awareness out of the negativity and into truth. Let your thoughts give life to the truth you know while you stay in the now moment, remembering that regardless of appearances, God alone is power. As you live each day this way, you are adding light to the universal world consciousness, which at some point will cause the whole outer scene to shift because consciousness is the substance of which the outer scene is created. This cannot happen overnight, it is a process. When many come together with the same intention, the energy becomes very powerful. It happens regardless of whether the group goals are three-dimensional or spiritual. It is the combined energy of the many that can become a force for change or not. Energy is neutral, how it is directed determines outcomes, which is how the black arts came into being. You are consciousness. Your body is in your consciousness, not the other way around, you are not consciousness inside of a body. Your consciousness formed the body necessary for your needs and lessons while on earth. When you realize this, you will find that you are no longer quite so subject to world beliefs that say you are at the mercy of your body. Your whole world is within your consciousness, the weather, friends near or far, family, beliefs. Everything exists in consciousness, and nothing exists outside of consciousness. Each must ask, what do I entertain in my consciousness? What beliefs, what concepts, what ideas, etc. do I hold? A spiritually evolved consciousness of truth and light will manifest outwardly in whatever forms are necessary for your highest good, which may not always be what you believe to be your highest good. Mind, being an avenue of awareness, draws upon each person's state of consciousness and then manifests it outwardly. Your consciousness is the substance of your world. This is why mankind has been told over and over again by the masters that everything lies within. For the unawakened, this idea is considered to be ridiculous, a nice idea but very impractical, simply to be ignored by sophisticated intellectuals. In reality, this profound truth is the bedrock of the evolutionary journey, a truth that cannot be ignored. You are creators but have not known this. The consciousness of a sleeping mankind has for eons been forming the world in which you now find yourselves. Consciousness manifesting as form, and building upon itself to where the world is now. Through centuries of struggle and evolving awareness, mankind is now ready to move beyond the illusion. Your consciousness of truth can and is changing the world in every now moment personally and globally. We are the Arcturian Group. Channeled by Marilyn Raphael. www.onenessevol.com